everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some black owned brand bags to look out for and to definitely try to get your hands on jumping right into this video the first bag I want to share with you guys is the Telfar handbags yes this is not new it did start I want to say it really really got big maybe around September August of last year maybe a little sooner um I made a video I believe in March of last year just you know talking about the bag explaining the bag talking about Telfar and how much I love the bag and I will continue to say right now in this video that I still love the Telfar bags and you need to get your hands on one they're definitely gonna continue trending and honestly at this point I don't even want it to be a trending piece I want it to be a staple piece in your wardrobe so if you can get your hands on one go on that Telfar website and get on the waiting list and just in case you don't know what the Telfar bags look like here is one so this is it in the size small there's the size medium as well as the size large I of course have it in every single size but I just wanted to share with you guys this one in case you do not know which bag I am talking about the next black owned handbag that you need to look out for this year and get your hands on is the Brandon Blackwood ESR tote bag and honestly not only this bag and ESR let me just tell you guys it means and systemic racism and it actually says it right here on the bag with the silver hardware um, not only does he have this bag he has a multitude of bags he has trunks this brand this designer is just amazing so definitely go check those pieces out they're a piece that you definitely need to have in your handbag collection and just added and paired with any clothing piece that you have on okay so the next three handbags I'm gonna be sharing with you guys I don't have yet but I'm working on getting my hands on one um, they're pretty much sold out at least the ones that I want are sold out the next person or the next brand I want to talk about is Sonique Saturday and the bag that she has that I want so bad is the bag it's so it's kind of like a Hermes a, an Hermes Birkin bag um, but she writes on it that you are fake like this Birkin and I just love this bag I've seen it all over Instagram you know I wanted it last year when I went to go get it it was sold out I don't know how many pieces she puts out at a time um, but I'm trying to get my hands on one she has them in green there's blue there is I don't know black um, so many colors but it's just getting your hands on one that's the tricky part so if you can get your hands on one of Sonique Saturday's bag, and I think I'm saying it right, I, I think I'm saying it right. I don't think that's her name, but on Instagram it's Sonique Saturday. Get your hands on one of those handbags. I think she also has the Chanel Jumbo. I think she has the Kelly. There are a few, but I do believe that they're all sold out at this moment. You can also go on her website and subscribe. The other black owned handbag brand that you want to get and add into your wardrobe for this year 2021 is the Cheyenne Kimura handbag I believe that's how you say it guys it's the details for me so I'm not gonna say that this bag is like a big bag or like you can fit a lot in it but it's the aesthetics of it and I feel like that's where we're headed um, especially this year I feel like the bags that I've been seeing it's not like they're very practical in a sense of course you have your practical bags out there but I noticed that the ones that are trending this year aren't really practical they're much more for aesthetics and looks and this bag is one of those bags this bag is one of the bags that you need to have if you're not looking for practicality if you're into just you know looks and details and just handbags in general and, and like I said you're not looking for practicality then this is a handbag to get your hands on like I said it's the Cheyenne Kimura bag and this comes in different colors different shades and I love just how it looks it's the details for me guys 
All right, the fifth and final handbag to get your hands on is the Nicole Lionel handbag. So, so far I talked about the Telfar handbag, which is, you know, small. If you're going for the smaller one, then that's more small. It's a little practical. You can, you can add like maybe keys and your wallet and smaller things to it. You have the Brandon Blackwood, also depending on the size. Um, practical but you know you would want to get the bigger ones if you're looking for practicality practicality um the third one is the sonique saturday which like i said that one is bigger especially if you're looking for the birkin like i am um the, Sh the cheyenne kimura is much more you know aesthetic that's not practical at all at least the ones i'm talking about those are not practical but the nicole lionel it's a very sophisticated handbag. So if you are like a businesswoman, businessman, either or, because you know, any of these bags can be unisex. I don't wanna label it as, you know, this is a woman's bag or whatever. If you are into handbags, you're looking for sophistication, you're into business, you're into these looks, then check out the Nicole Lionel handbag. Um, so the exterior of this bag is leather, if I'm not mistaken, but the interior is suede. And I love the shape of this bag. That's what makes it such a sophisticated, classy bag. If that's a look that you're looking for, then definitely get your hands on it. I feel like this year they're gonna be seen more often and I really do hope that she sells out, right? I enjoy that, you know, these brands are selling out but that they're able to restock. So it's, it's different if you sell out but you're unable to restock. But if you're selling out and you're restocking, that is amazing. We're getting, you know, they're getting their money, they're getting their cash flow, and that's amazing. So yes, definitely check out these black-owned brand branded handbags that I just mentioned. Also remember to please, please, please remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Love yourself and love others as well. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. See you in the next video.